In mainstream physics, there is no objective understanding of the moment of now. The nearest we have of an understanding is represented in the theory of relativity by these light cone diagrams. The moment of now is represented by the apex of the light cone, with the past represented by the lower part of the light cone, with a possible future represented by the top part of the light cone. Space and time are at right angles to each other, with time being in the vertical axis rising up through the light cone, and space being represented by the horizontal plane. But the theory of relativity can never give us a complete and objective understanding of the moment of now, because there is no cause and effect in relativity. In relativity, matter tells space how to curve, and space tells matter how to move. There is no present moment that causes the future to unfold. There is just a beautiful geometrical process. But in a new theory, called quantum atom theory, the universe is explained as a continuum of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation with a future coming into existence relative to the atoms of the periodic table. In this video I am going to try and explain this using the light cone diagrams of relativity. At the most fundamental level we have a universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. In a light cone diagram, the two-dimensional surface of the sphere is across the vertical time axis. The convex outer surface and the concave inner surface forms a dynamic boundary condition, with the convex outer surface representing the movement of positive charge, and the inner concave surface representing negative charge. The vertical time axis is at right angles to the horizontal space axis because electromagnetic fields are always at right angles to each other. The lower part of the light cone represents the inner path of the absorption photons. For example, we are looking at these photons when we look out into deep space, being able to look back in time, in all directions, at the beauty of the stars. The top part of the light cone represents the possible outer path of the emission photons. With this information we can see that the apex of the light cone must represent a process of energy exchange in the form of photon absorption and emission. Because the universe is never at absolute zero, this is a continuous and universal process. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see that everything is continuously radiating light. At the apex of the light cone, we have new photon oscillations or vibrations continuously coming into existence, representing the future unfolding photon by photon, with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. This process is relative to the atoms of the periodic table, forming what we measure as a period of time. The atoms form standing waves in time, and as the bonds between the atoms break and form, there is an exchange of photon energy, with the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we see and feel as a passage of time. Hydrogen bonds breaking and reforming in water is a simple example of this process. Each individual is at the forefront of creation, at the apex of their own light cone diagram, in the moment of now, in the centre of their own reference frame, as an interactive part of creation, with an emergent uncertain future, unfolding relative to the energy of their own actions. In this theory, the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. Therefore the symmetry or geometry of the light cone is relative to the actions or movement of the individual, and because space and time are linked by one universal process, 
we see the rate that time flows changing with the geometry. In this theory, the time dilation of Einstein's relativity represents a process of continuous photon energy exchange or continuous creation. Because the photon forms a movement of electromagnetism and time dilation of relativity is part of a process that forms a curvature of space-time, we can say that gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. This can be supported mathematically with both the electromagnetic force and the gravitational force sharing the inverse square law representing the dynamic geometry of one universal process. Also the geometry of the light cone is formed by the limitations of the speed of light. The inside of the light cone represents the possibility of what could happen within the speed of light. Outside the light cone represents what is impossible because it would represent something happening faster than the speed of light. This theory gives us an objective and logical reason for this. Nothing can move faster than the speed of light because the future is unfolding light photon by light photon. With a past that is gone forever and a future that only exists as a probability wave function that forms the uncertainty of everyday life, that at the smallest scale is represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the process that forms what we see and feel as the passage of time. I hope you enjoy these videos. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this revolutionary theory that is outside of mainstream physics.